Good morning, everybody. It is, is it Tuesday? Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday. Oh, yeah. 3 9. Oh. <laughs> I'm a numbers girl, you know. So, my first video for this morning, Silence No More. Please check it out. It's quite, it's quite a, quite, quite informative, quite descriptive, and parallels what's going on today. So I can't read, wait to see what's in my pop book today. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us up. Thank you for tuning in. So March 9th, there's a lot of threes in that. So three, then three, 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 and then 2022, <laughs> two more threes. What is that? March. Of course. Today is a day of seven threes. March is a three. That's the ninth. That's three threes. 2022. Two plus two plus two is six. Oh, that's six threes. Oh boy. Six threes. Okay. There's got to be something crazy good about today. I can just feel it in my bones. <laughs> so collagens. Oh, this Bible is so little. I gotta go get more for my road trip. Wait, that's back here. Cool. Colossians, Ephesians. It's right before. Galatians. Colossians, yeah, there we go. New Testament. 3 verses 12 through 13. Twelve to four. Whoops. Yeah. Colossians 3, 12 through 14 is the first one. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Whew, hallelujah. <laughs> Psalm 25. Actually, I can find stuff better in this Bible now that I think about it. I scan through them so fast. Okay, so Psalm 25, a Psalm of David. There we go. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none of that weight on thee be ashamed let them be ashamed which transgress with transgress without cause shew me the ways O Lord teach me thy paths lead me in thy truth and teach me for thou art the God of my salvation on thee do I wait all day all the day remember O Lord thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses for they have ever of old have been ever of old Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he will teach sinners in the way. The meek will guide, will he guide in judgment, and the meek will teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him 
and he will shew them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever told the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow. And above all, these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Colossians 3 verse 14. And that's today's title is love. Talk about timing, Beverly. It's all about love. It always was about love. God is love. Man just tried to silence God. And it's about time. God is silenced no more. I'm going to be his voice here now, and I have been, and I'm not going to stop. I'm not stopping, because he kept me here to do that, and that's what my duty is. My duty now is to serve him. I've served man long enough. All of our duties are to serve him first and foremost, because none of this all around wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. But man wants you to believe that. If all the virtues listed by Paul in this section of Colossians were sewn together into a coat of many colors, sounds like a rainbow to me, <laughs> an under undeserved gift provided by our Heavenly Father, then love would be the belt, holding it snugly around our body, warm and close. Love makes it all fit. We put on love to keep all the other virtues bound together. Compassion and kindness humility and meekness, patience, forbearance, and forgiveness. Love is what makes it all work. Or maybe even more than just a belt, love is a tailor that fits the garment of virtue. So we can live in it under God's gracious provision. For any one of these virtues might pull or snag if not tempered by love. It's okay, baby. Humility and meekness can become distorted as humiliation and weakness. Kindness and forbearance might be exploited by people intent on dominion. But the love of God in Christ, a love that finds its ultimate expression in Jesus' sacrifice on our behalf, is a love that creates perfect harmony. And it's a love that extends to others as we live each day in our perfectly tailored garment of Christian virtue inviting others into this life as God's chosen ones through baptism. Heavenly Father, 
Thank you for the gift of new life in Christ and for a love that binds everything in harmony. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. There's nothing that I need to add to that. Nothing else. It's perfectly written, perfectly said. And it just parallels what I've been trying to instill on every person that I have encountered since arriving in the Florida Keys and prior to in my life. I have showered everyone with unconditional love. So thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned. I can't wait to see what the next devotion has in store for me and the rest of the world. Love to all of you, bunches and bunches. Have a great day.